We do begin tonight with a live look at the heart of downtown Austin, one of the many spots where the live music portion of South by Southwest kicked off tonight. Now the festival is more than musicians, film premieres and interactive showcases. Today, violence intervention efforts took center stage at a South by panel. KXN's Brianna Hollis sat down with the speakers to discuss the need for wraparound services for victims. And she also took a deeper look at what programs already exist in Austin and in Travis County. On a day primarily dominated with talks on technology and transportation, Ingrid Archie and Aswad Thomas shared their stories as crime victims. Their mission, creating safe spaces and promoting violence intervention efforts. That's unique uh, for South by Southwest to have a conversation of, of safety. They work for the Alliance for Safety and Justice. The group advocates for resources for crime victims as well as people with past criminal records who are trying to get back on track. The goal is to stop a cycle of violence. Opportunity, you know, for me to share my story um, as a as a victim of gun violence um, and talk about the experience of not receiving any services or resources um, after that and, and, and learning that the person that, that shot me was also a victim of gun violence. Oftentimes people with records were um, most of the time victims first. Like my story, you know, I was victimized before I got a record. The Alliance for Safety and Justice helped with the establishment of Austin's Trauma Recovery Center. It's the first facility of its kind in the state. The center opened in October and provides things like free mental health, counseling, case management, and employment services to trauma victims. City staff say after three months in service, the center has had more than 250 visits with over 150 clients. And making sure that people are educated and understanding that in serving our population, we are intentional in shifting the narrative around what public safety looks like, rooted in solutions, rooted in winning, rooted in upward mobility. Brianna Hollis, KXAN News. And Travis County is also working on creating a mental health diversion center. The goal of that facility is to help people with extreme mental health illnesses or drug addiction after they are arrested.